All right. So let's start with the creating new textile by typing st on the keyboard, the command line, hit enter, and we will create a new one. The style name will be test. Annotative and we click OK. We set current on this one and change the the font we like. So for example, Bell MT. Paper text size should be 2.2. That that's the size that you want to see your text or uh, fonts. I mean numbers, dimension, and everything in uh, in millimeters. So to the visible eye. Uh, you can read something between 1.8 to 2.4 millimeters. That's a good size, so I use 2.2. And don't forget to mark annotative, so take it and click apply. We hit set current, so we have it here as test annotative. And you can see this symbol here, it means that it's annotative. And very soon I will explain what it means. So this stands on 2.2. Now I click DT for new text and I can choose the annotation scale. So let, let's let's stay with 1.1 as we have here. For example, just for the example. And start point and rotation angle of zero and type test. So this is actually the this is actually the the size we have on model leaf. And if we go to properties, we can see that text height here is 2.2 and model text size model text height is 2.2 they are the same as we are on 1.1 scale but if for example we're gonna change this to 1.4 text will become bigger as you can see this also as i draw it before and this one change uh, changes scale and you can see that the model is 8.8 .8 and text height is 2.2 in this example, if we go to layout, my scale is based on uh, 1 to 1250 scale metric. And it's pretty simple how I, I draw this, how I choose the scale. As this map is on meters, uh, the desired scale is calculated by 1000 multiplied by the desired scale. So for example, this will be 1000 multiply 1 divided by 1250. It's 0 0.0.8. If you don't see it, you can see it here. Press F2. Okay, so 0 0.8 is my, my gold number. Everything will be according to this number. So, for example, if I want to change scale here to something that fits to me, the answer should be actually 0 0.8. So think about it as dividing, like 1, one to 5 is 1 divided by 5, and 1.8 is 1 divided by 8. So I don't have any answer that gives me 0 0.8, so I created one. So I go to custom and click add, and now I choose a name. And this is just a name, it doesn't matter at all, I can call it whatever I want, so let's say Pig 1 to 1250 1, metric, it's just a name. And this one should give me the answer. Like, think about this as division symbol and not equal. So it, this, this exercise here should give you 0 0.8. So 1000 and here it will be. 1050 so if I divide 1000 by 1050 it gives me 0 0.8 so that's that's the rule okay that's how you choose it from now on everything will be easy so this says 0 0.8 I can I can give totally different number as long as I get 0 0.8 everything will be okay so remember we have it we click okay now we can choose the pig 1 to 1250 metric and we have the scale so if I draw now new text it will be in the proper scale so like hello enter this is the scale and if I put this number here 
and here and here and now I go to the layout and create total new viewport all right okay I will create a new viewport and put it here for example I can double click inside and change the scale accordingly to one thousand one no to this one you know I don't need to say it too many times so I have the scale and if I bring this one here please ignore the the notes here this is just for you to to see so I'm on paper now and if I come and choose the distance it should be around 2.2 so you see it's pretty close so this is the real paper and if I go inside it's something else that's the model space so um, I hope you're still with me and now the thing that so good with annotative that you don't really need after you you have the proper scale you if you want to change scale you just click on a different one and everything will be updated Let, let's hide this for a moment okay so if i change the scale here and this is annotative text everything will be just fine so i hope you got it and now let's let's see an example with area measure so let's delete these ones okay and create area measure uh, table so I draw my units in meters and area units is in I want it in hectares I will insert table show area on polygon and include layer name no I don't want to include their name start number and I choose all and now I have it so you can see now it's pretty much perfect everyone will see it on paper if you want to present it and you have the table that is also visible as I created a table with text style if I go to table style if I go to table style I created a table style with a text of with some annotative text that I already choose so if I go to text, I can see that Century Anno, this is, this is a different textile that I created before and I use it. So everything works just fine with annotative text. Uh, as I said before, as you change the scale, everything will change accordingly. So first of all, you need to know like actually how you want to print this on paper. So you need a proper scale on some like A0 paper or A3 or whatever, but it should fit to the paper. And then you choose the scale, you do the calculation for, for, the, for the gold number, as you see here. I will try to attach this file to, so you have it to, to download, for example. And uh, now you can test with it. So area measure is working. Uh, if I change the number here and click refresh REA and go here, everything is actually updated accordingly and the sum as always so uh, that's it basically few things you need to know that you probably your autocad will make you crazy anno no this is selection anno display variable if it's set to one you will see something like that just a minute and let's change the scale you see like I change the scale and now it gives me like two scales so like how how it was in the last scale and how it was now if I have if I change to another one I might get three or oh, you see like one two three so sorry I don't want to see these uh, numbers so uh, selection on a display is set to zero and I can go back to one to one thousand one thousand two hundred fifty now if I go to paper uh, you might get something like that let's say these are turned off so these are turned off and you don't see your numbers and like where is my number so if you don't see your numbers and your text it's probably because this is turned off so make sure this is turned on and this one will automatically add scale to annotate annotative objects so for example if I bring this one here and change the scale here to one to one it's one to one thousand it's actually changed the the scale accordingly so on paper it will be just the same i hope you got it and i hope it's not too confusing 
if I need to make another video of this, I'll make, but the most important thing is that you understand the rule of, of the scale. If you have it, you will never go wrong on scale and you can use annotative as it saves you much more time than using a scale for each text for each scale you use. As it's an old way and, and I think no one needs to use it as you have a better solution. Um, so that's it.